Hey guys and welcome back for another video. Today we are going to talk about my current draft for game week 1. Before we start let's have a few seconds about the sleeper app prizes. Win a football jersey after game week 1 and a tablet of the first month of the new season and this is for free. Watch this video to know more about my free to enter prize league. I'm delighted to announce my partnership with Sleeper Fans Football and also a prize league for this season, which is totally free and available globally for everywhere, anywhere around the world. You, shall, you should just predict the result of every game week. Only the winner every game week will have to pick the result win, lose, or a draw for all the 10 Premier League games. That's all you need to do. No need for predicting the score. Simply click the club badge, you, the side you predict will win, and the draw icon for a draw. One point for correct prediction and zero for wrong one and as you watch in this video this is uh, my prize league after you trade this is match day one games and this is match day two we'll back for match day one and start predicting man united to beat fulham liverpool to win arsenal win uh, might be a draw yeah Nottingham forest uh, might win as well newcastle for sure will beat southampton and simply we predict every uh, winner from the 10 player or uh, if it have a draw and this is a chat we have a group chat in our league and i really enjoyed discussing and chatting with guys in it you can chat about anything in the game or in uh, fans Premier league This is my first draft, look very solid until we get some updates during the preseason. It looks now a little bit more solid after making seven changes. Yes, I made seven changes to it. The goalkeeper has been changed, some defenders, some midfielders and even a forward. This isn't my final draft for game week one. Some updates and changes will happen very soon. Make sure you are subscribed and notifications are on to get my game week one final team reveal as soon as it's published first of all my goalkeeper was sanchez sanchez has gone yes he may end up being his second choice for chelsea after the new signing i fed up with chelsea defensive performance during the preseason as well out of the chelsea defensive picks even their attacking defenders until they improve during the season we have many options decent options to be honest at this 4.5 million price tag it doesn't make sense to stick with Sanchez. The available data about Chelsea's new system isn't enough. To be honest, I would prefer to put them on my watch list for the opening few game weeks. My current goalkeeper is Henderson from Crystal Palace. During the preseason, he started regularly and looked to be the first the choice. Johnson requested to leave, and which is another sign for his preference. Crystal Palace since Oliver Glasner arrived in game week 26 last season, he's ranked force for expected goals considered only a man city arsenal level ahead of them which is absolutely amazing i'll start with chris Abel's defense system over chelsea for this time defensively consta stays about from arsenal in game week not as well a decent schedule and high clean sheet probability to be honest consta is my only 4.5 million from Aston Villa, which is a steal. Uh, I know he wasn't full in the preseason yet uh, due to the late comeback from the Euros, but I'm keeping him until we get an update from Emery about him. He looks nailed, more than catch and bow. As for last season, another play I'm not sure about keeping him, but I can't in my team is burned. I would keep him until their last match in the preseason to know more updates and better prediction about their new backline for game week one. Newcastle backline is very important uh, to get one of them. I'm certain about the right and left backs, similar to the left center back. The Lemesh Char is the only nailed one and will know more during the next match. Newcastle had decent opening games. Personally, I would target any 4.5 million nailed defender from this run. Two defenders stayed and three gone. I'll start now listing my new defenders, my three new defenders. Then Gunn, unfortunately, he hasn't joined Liverpool at preseason yet. Zero games under any slot, which makes him doubtful for game week one. I even don't know how he will look in on slot new system. It's not club advanced right left back system. Will he play in midfield or a right back? I don't know how many minutes he will get in game week one. I have no idea. His pricing isn't cheap, so for now I would sell him. I would transfer Bardiol from Man City. I would transfer him in 
for his high ownership and goal involvement. Final game weeks last season, he looked very promising and got many attacking returns in Man City's second best defensive team, value over more security. To be honest, second new defender will be Mikulenko as a sheep root into Everton defensive system. Shandai's solid backline as they got many clears during the final game week last season. As a left back, he may get and may bring some attacking returns as well as Vert and Fixture as an easy and tough to it's a mix fit. I rotate him with my defender for sure. Third new defender is my budget defender for only 4.0 defender. We have many starters at this price tag. Vice, Harwood, Taylor, Johnson from the promoted teams. I posted a video about this new promoted player and best budget picks. Recently, I recommend watching it. My pick will be Barco from Brighton. He's a proven Premier League team. He embraced us the preseason as a Stubian injury will help him start more than a month. Regularly, a Stubian recovery plan isn't clear yet. And the Colombian international was injured several times last season, which is a red flag about him. The lively Barco may get more and more minutes this season. I can ignore that the Egyptian king is a strong captain option for the opening fixtures. Even more than Erling Haaland, he is easily the top midfielder for expected goals in the last season and ahead of Babam and Saka, 30 goal involvement and 33 big chances. Top midfielder for short on target as well, which will help him in getting bonus points. He looked promising during the recent is essential for me in game week one top captain for it to be honest. Three games at Anfield and Ipswich with Town in the opening five games which is very tempting to be honest. Eze is my second midfielder. Can Chris has been much different since Oliver Glasner arrival? Nailed for starts. He's 90 minutes man. Good opening fixture. 16 returns in 24 shots last season on penalty. Like in all set pieces, as Olize has gone. He's a 0.5 million less than Mateta. Extra point for a goal and for a clean sheet points too. For only 7 millions, he's looked my team. Nukunku, the underpriced, can cover the 55% ownership share for the overpriced Coop Palmer. What from Man City in game week 1 has amazing fixture for Chelsea for their attacker. I hope Nukunku looks sharp in the preseason and he looked really sharp and has 3 goals. He was starting regularly and his minutes were very amazing. I think I'm keeping him. And he's still my team. The impressive Zanil, the advanced Roger is finally my team. So obviously, and we can confirm that he's essential for Emery and Neil to start start every game recently in the, during the final game weeks of last season and start regularly during the preseason. Excellent route to Aston Villa attack for only five million towards paying the extra of 0.5 million over and four point five. Five midfielder. If he looks promising during the opening two game weeks, I would keep him as a cover for Watkins. If I couldn't buy him, getting Watkins means selling Isaac, which is a thing I'm currently against doing. My fifth midfielder will be from the Reds. Diogo Jota has been leading the line for Arnold Slots, Liverpool preseason, and Portugal man classified as a 7.5 million. Midfielder, he could provide exceptional value for opening weeks. Produced and impressive 17 re attack returns in just 14 Premier League games last season. Second best player for every point per minute last season. Ahead of the likes of Erling Haaland, Cole Palmer, and Saka. Stiff competition for his starting spots in the form of Darwin Nunes and Gagbo, but both are listed as the forwards. He gained an immediately. He has advantage of getting an extra point for a goal and a clean sheet. While there is certain to be rotation, uh, I think it won't happen for the start of the season. Arne Schlott will travel to the newly promoted episode show in the opening week and city home games in the next four very, very tempting fixture, to be honest. Darwin and Gagbo are yet to make an appearance in the preseason. I was a print for Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth all making their trip to Anfield uh, as the opening five game weeks very tempting and Jota would be in my team for this run. Regarding my forest, Haaland stays for sure. No other player will get the quality and amount of changes he'll get into. In addition, he had his rest and proper time to recover from last campaign. For me, I consider captain him for game week two and three. I can't imagine going without him in game week two against Ipswich Town, but mostly I would sell him ahead of Arsenal and Newcastle United games. Starting with Haaland is far easier than getting him later when he starts firing. I start with both Salah and Haaland. Isaac is essential for me. Newcastle United is the second best attacking team at home last season. Only if it was a higher XG at home than them. Two home games, it's opening three fixture. It's a good advantage to get him. Honestly, I can't resist Newcastle fixture. 
only Holland and Palmer scored more goals than Isaac last season. Great stats, great fixture, great team. So why not? I think he's essential for most of us. Another change in the front three. Pedro is out. Brighton has some tricky fixtures during the opening game weeks. While Moniz and Wood have easier matches. To be honest, Pedro was frustrated during the preseason and hasn't traveled with the team as well. He started to worry about his minutes. In this case, I will make the needed players my priority. And it's one of my essential tips for the start of the season. Same blitz, Moniz against Woods. I would trust Fulham attacking system more than Nottingham Forest attack. Emil Smith Rowe is another decent addition to Fulham attack. Moniz is slightly better fixture. Moniz is better for shots, which means better for the new bonus point system this is my final draft and my current draft for game week one uh, some changes some updates we really have in make sure you subscribe and patience on to get my final team review for game week one as soon as it's published thanks for watching drop a like subscribe find it helpful and your comments are always welcome